so since a lot of people can't go to prom this year, I'm gonna make fun of all you and tease you. <laughs> but actually, here, I'm gonna review prom night so you have something to do while you're not at prom. <laughs> prom night, being released July 18th, 1980. The movie stars Jamie Lee Curtis, where a young girl dies because of four other kids who keep it a secret. And so, years later, on prom night, someone gets their revenge. So, let's watch Prom Night, and, you know, I gotta do this to make fun of all you people that can't go to prom. <laughs> so, the movie begins with the killers coming, as it's mostly just hide and seek. With a little bit more murder. As three kids are there, but the girl has to get her book, and the other boy just leaves. But Robin decides to come in to play with the kids, who are dicks. I mean, it does sound like this game would be fun to play. It sounds like something that I'd play. But I would not play it in a dangerous place like that. Eh, yeah, maybe I would, but I'd be careful. I swear? I swear. I swear. I'll never tell. Good. Damn. Oh, they agreed really fast. God damn, I was expecting to at least have to play this clip. Say it! We take this to our grave! Say it! We take this to our grave! Say it! As the father of this kid is sad, and also is played by Leslie Nielsen. Wait, you're in this movie? You surely can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Okay, I'm sorry, but... I'm usually not used to seeing Leslie in serious movies. He's normally a comedic actor. It's good to see him in a movie that's serious for once, even if he's not in it for long. But he does do a pretty good job in the movie. But it doesn't matter. Everyone is sad. And years later, they're all growing up at their sister's graves. Later, they talk about Alex getting a date for the prom. And to be completely honest, most of the characters, while well, they could be maybe a little more fleshed out, they're still fun to watch, at least. As they all go down to the school, this guy looks like a perv, and the killer calling Harry here, all grown up. Yes? Can you come out to play tonight? Still no date. He clearly just sounds like he wants a date. But actually, she meets a guy who seems pretty nice, wanting to give her a ride. And Slick here again is a likable character. He's fun to watch, and... You know, I like Slick, even if he's not very slick. And then we got another character who's all grown up, Kelly, who gets scared. And then the last one, Nick, who doesn't pick up the phone at all. This really pisses off the killer. Oh, come on, why do you hate him? He's probably the one that has the most remorse for what happened. He actually almost tells Jamie later on in the movie, why do you hate him so much? He seems to be a mostly nice guy. But the reason why I didn't pick up the phone was because he thought it was X, Wendy, calling him as she was also one of the kids, and of course, she gets a call too. Get lost, Lou. And she is a bitch, but at least she's fun to watch. Be home for dinner, Wendy. How the hell should I know? As then we go to high school where Kelly won't put out and Wendy's a bitch. But this is expected of her, since this is something she definitely would do. You can't blame Nick for this. It's not his fault, she's just a bitch. But there's an even worse character, the human ashtray, or, well, maybe one worse person, a kid is dead. Yeah, there is a killer that is on the loose that supposedly they think killed Robin. Now, I'm not going to talk about him too much in this review since it doesn't matter, since, you know, he's a red herring, pretty much. But I will mention this, I'm not sure exactly who killed the kid, I'm guessing it's the guy, but... You know, it could be the killer, I doubt it, but it could be, you never know. But it doesn't matter, he is crazy and out there, but we go to the prom where Jamie Lee practices dancing, and Wendy is again a bitch, wanting to be the queen. Well hey, you are a queen. You're the queen bitch. As the killer thinks that she's a bitch too, cutting out all their photos. But whatever, we go to lunch as the other girls meet Slick and, ugh, the human ashtray. Well, he's a big dick. That's going too far. But Alex won't stand for this bullshit, standing up for his sister. But there are two other dicks there to help the human ashtray, so he gets the shit beat out of him. Yeah, this is where someone should 
try to jump in, it's not very fair when it's three on one person. But only these two can trouble. Well, actually, only the ashtray does, as he really hates Leslie and his family. Later, Jamie be in a bad mood, partly because of her brother getting assaulted, and because it's the death anniversary of her sister. And you can see that Nick is regretful, and even though all the other characters don't even remember anything about this, don't even mention it, really. And he's the only one that is regretful. I kind of wish he would have been able to tell Jamie himself. But sadly, he isn't able to. But there is something bad that will happen on prom night. These two are out to drive and to talk about getting revenge on prom night. Here, let me guess. You're gonna slit a pig's throat and pour it on them. That should work. And the good thing is that neither one of them are telepathic, so you should be mostly fine. Well, there still was a killer on the loose, so you should still watch out. But no, really, they're gonna do something else, but it doesn't matter. Something pretty good after that, that I care way more about. This is just for you! Vicky! Vicky! But sadly, I have to censor it out. I don't like to do that. I like to see the ass. But there are a few naked girls in the locker room, so that's good. And it's good that Wendy got a yearbook photo from the killer, but the really bad thing is the killer broke some glass. Damn it, was that really worth it? You're gonna get seven years bad luck, you son of a bitch! Uh, you might want to cover up a lot, I mean, the gender might still be out there. There you go. But it doesn't matter, the king and queen practice their crowning. Them practicing Alex's kiss to his sister. That's it, Alex. Now kiss her. My sister. Yeah, that is kind of gross. Good. Now the king. Kiss the king. On the mouth. Ugh, it's even grosser. But it is pretty funny, it actually got a chuckle out of me. The rehearsal ending beautifully. These two get in their picture from the killer. And they never learn why the killer wants to kill them. I mean, you could have wrote something like, I know you did six years ago, or some shit like that, so they feel some remorse and remember. And also, where the hell is Nick's card? They don't even show him get one. But whatever, I get to say, damn. And also, Jamie is looking pretty good, her having a fun conversation with her brother. Would you get the doll for me, sir? Yes, my lady. Oh, thank you, sir. But then Lindy leaves, and yeah, it's not what she thought. They really assholes. I mean, it really does matter who you go with the prom. Because, yeah, you don't have a very good time with this guy since... You know, he's an asshole. But whatever, it's still prom, so most people have fun dancing in the moonlight. And yeah, here for a couple of minutes, they're just dancing, so there's not really much I can make fun of here. Ooh, but that I can make fun of, though. Yeah, this dancing doesn't look very good. I mean, it looks like it'd probably be very difficult to do, but it looks very stupid. But I will say this, at least it doesn't make me want to throw up like in carry. I never dreamed someone could love someone like me. Oh god damn it. What? <coughs> I guess this movie does make me want to throw up, too. But there is a good thing. A sex scene. Or not, because she doesn't put out. What are you, fairy tale princess? If you don't, I know plenty who will. But what he does is a really dick movie. You can't pressure somebody into sex. 
You really can't do that. You can't be a dick like that. You're definitely not gonna be able to get laid with that attitude. Damn it! Killer, or, yeah, I guess killer. You really should have came in early. You could have got double kill and killed that asshole. God damn it. I mean, I didn't want the girl to die, but at least you would have killed the asshole, too. But no, just killed the girl. As the guy is still alive, hitting on another girl. But that doesn't matter, there's some fucking with Slick and Harry, as they are high. You think this is the time to study? <sighs> Ooh, damn, that's some pretty good history. <laughs> you know, I'll remember this night for the rest of my life. Of course. <laughs> oh yeah, you will. So will I. Oh yeah, you definitely remember that now. For the last couple of seconds you live. What the hell, killer? She was a nice girl. And the killer has to make it worse by trying to steal the van from Slick. And sadly, he ends up dying. Damn it, killer! He was good guy. You didn't need to kill him, he had nothing to do with the girl's death at all. But I guess there is still some front problem, but when he's about to meet the killer and that ain't fun. <laughs> but the killer is not good at killing people unless they're not paying any attention at all, but since she is, she's all good. Or at least for a little while, but there's no one else to help her and there's a long chase scene having her hide and run into a car and get out of the car and hide in a closet. But sadly, the, the closet had a body in it. <laughs> Damn, if that body would not have been there, she might have had a chance to live. <laughs> but... To be honest, even though she definitely was a bitch, I don't think she deserved to die. She deserved maybe a punch to the face, actually definitely a punch to the face, but she said in the movie she didn't want anybody to get hurt, so I still think she has a little bit of heart in her, just a little bit at least. I don't think she deserved to die at least. I mean, compared to some other bitches, at least I can see some sympathy in her. N enough that I didn't want her to die, but I kind of did at the same time. Then she's dead now, so it doesn't matter. But whatever, she's dead, and Leslie isn't there for some reason. This crazy guy is saying there's a killer on the loose. And yeah, I'm not sure where in the hell Leslie went. He just kind of left the movie after a while. He, he's not in any more at all. But whatever, there is a backup for Leslie, and they can get ready for the crowning, but these guys are exacting their plan now. Which isn't very complex. I mean, they're just gonna knock a guy out and take his crown and go outside. Or maybe they had more, but they didn't have enough time to actually go ahead with the plan. But it doesn't matter. I mean, he was gonna kill the ashtray anyway, since, you know, he's an asshole. But who he really wanted to kill was Nick, but Jamie's able to get him free and help him not get killed by the killer. I just want to tell you both, good luck. We're all counting on you. Damn it, Leslie, shut up and go help your daughter. <laughs> and that hurts him a lot. I mean, I don't think that should have been fatal. It doesn't look like that would kill him, but at least it does fuck him up. But it was able to take down the killer, but it's sad. The killer, is really Jamie's brother. I just want to tell you both, good luck. We're all counting on you. Damn it, Leslie, this is a sad moment. Go talk to your son one last time.
And I mean, I guess he dies? I mean, it's kind of left ambiguous, I guess. I mean, you can consider him not dead, you can consider him dead. It's kind of your choice, I guess, but I like to think that he lives, since, you know, that hit, it doesn't look like it would have killed him. Fucked him up, definitely his eyes, since blood in the eyes hurt like some bitch, but, you know, I don't think he's dead. But whatever, that was Prom Night, and it's pretty good. Yeah, I enjoy this movie, mainly because of the characters. I mean, I think they should have needed a little bit more character to them, but it was enough that I liked them, and I didn't want them to die. Hell, I think the parts of the characters were more fun than watching them die, mainly because, you know, there's not too much gore here. But I liked them. And hell, I even saw a little hard in Wendy. I mean, she is a bitch, but she's not bitchy enough for me to want her to die. I mean... Maybe she definitely deserves a punch to the face, but I don't think she would have deserved death. I mean, she says that she didn't want to get it hurt, so I can see a little bit of heart. Just enough that I didn't want her to die, but whatever. The movie setting is good, but I wish I could have seen Leslie more in this movie. I just want to tell you both. Good luck. Damn, yeah, man, you surely should know that you can't come back now. Don't call me Shirley. Shut up and get the hell out. But really, the movie is pretty good, and... I have to give Prom Night 1980 a 4 out of 5. And for once, there's going to be a review of the sequel right after I review the original. I didn't really do that too often, at least not right after. But anyway, it's actually not going to be me. Hey yo, Skull Kid, I got some work for you. Assignment. Where am I going? A little place called Springwood. His editor wanting a story. Expect new story facts and on my desk first thing tomorrow morning. And an imminent deadline. Memories. On the next, Freddy's Nightmare.